According to the Kiev head of police, an estimated 10,000 people attended the rally against the so-called Steinmeier Formula Peace Plan on Kiev's Independence Square. Protesters consider that Russia can use this to push Ukraine towards capitulation. I came here to support the movement against capitulation. We're standing here to prove that Ukrainians are not indifferent. The Steinmeier formula is a roadmap drawn up in 2015 that stipulates a special status be granted to Donbass with strict conditions, in accordance with the Minsk agreements. This law will expire in the new year, and there's uncertainty what, if any, concessions will be made to Russia's advantage. Fast forward to October the 1st this year, President Zelensky stated that Ukraine had agreed to this roadmap. Three days later, after a demonstration against this decision, he clarified that it by no means implies capitulation. Only under the condition of holding local elections on those territories that comply with the constitution and legislation of Ukraine, as well as only after the publication of the OSCE report that the elections were held according to OSCE standards and international standards of democratic elections. This means, dear journalists and viewers, that there will be no elections under a machine gun barrel. There will be no surrender. Despite the explanations of President Zelensky, many people want the government's red lines clarified when they negotiate with Russia. They are also concerned about any future elections held in the occupied territories. If we sign the agreement with Russia and with separatists, they will not follow this agreement. Mm -hmm. And uh, I really care how we make this uh, to army corps that they created there, lots of military people with tanks, artillery, and so on, how we make them go, go away. Mm. And also, President Zelensky, in his speech, told that uh, the election should be conducted uh, without, all, without any military forces there. Mm. So it means without Ukrainian forces also. I care about it. So maybe they will say no military forces at all, and no Ukrainian forces. Mm. And why? How? It's our territory. If it's our territory, our soldiers should, should stay there. People from civil society, opposition politicians and veterans attended the rally. For many, the hopes born from the Euromaidan revolution are still alive. The revolution of dignity united people with different values and opinions, but each of them was doing everything possible to save our country. When the war started, different people were entering the volunteer battalions and the armed forces, but they had one idea – to defend our country. Now it looks like the same situation where different people can unite. But unfortunately, it is a very negative sign for the current powers. Now we can understand that the Steinmeier formula is Vladimir Putin's formula. This directly interests Russia, not us. Another rally against the Steinmeier formula is planned for October 14th, reported by Pierre Maleczko, UATV.